Are you tracking your keywords on Google? When we build content, we build content for a specific keyword. And it's so important when you have published your content that you track it and make sure that it ranks for the right keywords. But doing this process is time consuming, especially if you do it manually. And that is why today's product showcase is Nozzle, a powerful rank tracker for your website. So without further ado, let's dive into Nozzle and track some keywords. Signing into Nozzle, you will be presented by all of your projects and teams that you have set up. Of course, if you haven't set anything up, you will be prompt to set up. But here we can see a short overview of my project called Philip Steeman. Here I can see my rankings, estimated traffic, and many more information you can see here on the screen. All of these information can be elaborated when we click on view dashboard. But what I want to show you first is manage keywords. In here in our keyword manager, we are setting up the keywords that we want to track. You can see it's scheduled to check every day what my rankings are, because if you set it too often, you will just get spammed with notifications and emails and it's not really worth it. But here you can see I have added three keywords, incharts.io, niches, and write sonic reviews. You can also group these keywords. This is just phrases. Do be aware that when you set up these keywords, it does take a lot of time before you can start seeing some data within Nozzle. So just be patient. But here we can choose what devices we want to track. I should add mobile here. And then we can choose countries. Here you can see we can change the schedule to daily, every other day, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, and so on down the list. You can really set it as exactly you want it to be. Here we can see the total track keywords is now nine, and that's because we have three different platforms. We have desktop, mobile iOS, and mobile Android that is tracking on. I will now press save keywords. And now you can see here that it will take approximately 30 minutes before we can start seeing data within Nozzle. I do already have some data to show you. Now we have the project team info, which is very limited. And then we have brands. And what's important within brands is to enter all of your competitors, the companies that you are competing against on specific keywords. And the way you find the competitors is to Google some of the keywords that you are trying to rank on and then take the top 10, maybe top five, and then set them as competitors if they do write similar content as you and then add them into Nozzle because then you can use on the dashboard to compare them against you. I will show you how. The last element is segments. And this is if you want to segment the content if into different segments. This is not something I've used a lot. But now let's jump into the dashboards where we can see actual data on our keywords. You can see out here that there are a lot of dashboards that they're working on which are not released yet. But right now we have the dashboard here which is the entire overview of my keywords. Right now I'm only ranking on one of the keywords I have entered that is incorrect. I do rank on all of them, but within Nozzle, I do apparently only rank on this keyword here. Now we can see information like segments, as I just mentioned before, we can see the URL, which is ranking. We can see the rank group, whether it's organic, desktop, unpaid. And then down here, we can see what keyword are we ranking on and what page are ranking for that keyword. So let's say that you have made a cooking recipe on meatloaf but you can see that it's actually ranking on a pasta dish keyword, then something is completely wrong within your content and you really do need to change it. Or you just need to change it to rank on the pasta dish and make a new article for the meatloaf. What I have experienced sometimes is seeing the wrong pages ranking for the wrong keywords and that means you need to go and twist the content so you are sure that they are ranking on the right keywords. And that is something that Nozzle really visualize for you. With the dashboard here, we can deep dive even more. So we can go by performance and say by keyword. So in here, we will get an overview per keyword. So we have only one keyword to work with here. And for this keyword, we can see the top, whatever we want to see are ranking on this keyword. You can see I'm ranking number 26 right now. When Nozzle gathers more data, it will show me a CTR, pixels from top, how far am I from the top of the screen, above the fold, percentage, and so on. You can see here that Trustpilot, Captera, and a lot more are ranking above me. But if I go down and I show top 50, 
then you can see that I'm showing down here. So what Nuzzle does is that it scans 200 results for you to see who else are ranking. And of course, what you need to do is you need to check the content above your ranking and see what they are doing different compared to you because you can really learn from that and then you will start to rank higher. You can also see down here that they take a screenshot so you are really sure and certain that what they are telling you is correct. And while I scroll, you can see out in the left menu out here, the color is changing. Of course, we want to be in the green segment. It's not always possible. So you can see I'm down in the orange-ish segment for my content, my piece of content right here. I do, of course, want to get it up in the green. So what I need to do is I need to check all of the results above me and see what they do different compared to me. This view is very powerful and with the views coming with local featured snippets and video view, it'll be even more powerful and easy for me to check all of my keywords and see what I can do better. Now, a competitor analysis can be done within the share of voice here. Here you can see that right now I've chosen brand type or brand type, but I can also choose my competitors. And within my competitors, we get even more data. Right now, my competitors does not have a lot of data, but we would be able to see keywords, rankings, CTR, and just like you saw before, we can also, by a single keyword, go in, add the competitor as you just saw, then we select the keyword in charge IO review, and then we can see how our competitors are ranking compared to us, if they're even ranking on the keyword. And you can see I had a ranking on 26 before, and in average, they are ranking 101, which means that I am doing way better than they are on this specific keyword. And of course, you can add all of the keywords you want to, of course, depending on your plan. And then you can check how you are ranking compared to your competitors. And if your competitors are ranking higher than you, then check them out and see what they are doing differently compared to you. Nuzzle does also have a dark theme if you do more like to work with dark theme. You can see it right here. It also works great and the color differences are great. Now, this is the overall platform within Nozzle right now. They are adding a lot of dashboards. You can see out here we have more different types of sortings that we can use. It is not as relevant as the stuff I have just shown you. But with the dashboards coming up in the SERP features, it will be such a powerful and rich tool. Tracking tools are very expensive because it requires a lot of server power to track all of your keywords. And you will see the same for Nozzle here. They do have four plans and all of these four plans differs on the amount of keywords you are tracking. And you can see the four plans here on the screen. Now it is so important that you test out Nozzle before you try it. And they do offer a trial for you to test it and you should definitely take the trial because Nozzle do have a steep learning curve with all of the data that you just saw in the walkthrough. Now the competitor to Nozzle as I see it is Serbwatch. Serbwatch is another product that I use on a daily basis to track my keywords. What is so great about Serbwatch, which Nozzle does not have yet but is coming, is that within Serbwatch I can see whether I'm ranking on snippets, whether I'm ranking in people also ask, and in images even. What is so great about this is that I can really narrow my content in to optimize it for these different elements. This is not something we see within Nozzle yet, but looking at the roadmap, it is coming very soon. As you can see here on the screen, the roadmap is filled up with great features coming. What I want to highlight is the four dashboards, which is local SEO, featured snippets, people also ask, and reputation management. These four dashboards together will give us even more insight into our content and into our keywords and how our content is ranking for the specific keywords. And that is very insightful data for us to have. The last thing I want to highlight is the Google search integration. This will allow us to import all of our keywords from Google search and into Nozzle to utilize Nozzle around our keywords. I do also hope to see a Google Analytics integration. Now moving on to the pros and cons of Nozzle, starting with the pros. You can really work with a lot of data within Nozzle. They have graphs which explains a lot and then they have an awesome and interesting future. Whereas for the cons, they do have a steep learning curve. I'm missing dashboards to visualize the data and then the design is not so modern. With Nozzle, you really have a powerful tool to track all of your keywords. 
And with Nozzle, you will always be sure that your content is ranking for the right keywords. And whether it's ranking for featured snippets or people also ask is something you will see in the near future in the exciting roadmap of Nozzle. Overall, I will give Nozzle three stars. But yeah, that is my review of Nozzle. I hope that you liked the video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions to Nozzle or other products you would like me to review, please leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.